The Longing for Less by Kyle Shika. Um, Living with Minimalism. So, like with other books, you get um, how to like declutter and like what um, minimal minimalism like mindset or place would look like, but how to yeah get to that point, but also deal with and um, continue on being um, minimalist and everything. Um, so like there's four different main sections. So reduction, emptiness, silence, shadow. So so you get um, the author his own story and um, other some other stories from other people. Um, so different um, people and topics are introduced. So you get like the minimalists, um, Joshua Becker, um, along with other persons, um, books and ideas mentioned, um, Marie Kondo, Steve Jobs, architecture, um, and other um, people and ideas. So, uh, like I was trying to say, you, it's a different look at mil minimalism, different areas or aspects of it, um, where so it's kind of like not the Muri Kondo oh, declutter and all this. It's more like the mil minimalist type of idea of like, okay, different ideas. Let's how that how does these ideas relate um, in a real minimalist situation type of thing. Um, so explaining the ideas, giving examples. That's where. Um, some of the people and ideas that I mentioned earlier come into play. Um, so it's not a book about like how to declutter. Um, it's more like looking at the people involved and um, like the people you would um, associate minimalism with. Um, how it's how minimalism kind of evolved. Um, it's more theory and the people that are kind of like attached to um, it in, in some way, um, intentionally or not. Um, so, so it's more of like a theory type of um, book. So, um, so like the Millimus self-published books and acquired millions of podcast listeners in 2016. Their documentary about minimalism pra um, practices across the country was picked up by Netflix. Um, that was tipping. Uh, that was the tipping point. Most of the fans I talked to in Cincinnati cited the film as their conversation moment to minimalism. So, um, whether it's the minimalists or um, certain YouTubers. Um, people find their way in certain, to minimal, minimalism in a certain way. Um, uh, he also states, minimalism, I came to think, isn't necessarily, necessarily a voluntary personal choice, but an inevitable and cultural shift responding to the experience of living through the 2000s. Up through the 20th century, material accumulation and stability made sense as forms of security. Um, and then continues on. Um, so. Um. The glass house. Um, takes by house um, concept of elegant um, workability, the attempt to reduce down um, to a set of rules that would work for everyone and it turns it into something um, elitist. Um, so it's just exploring different ideas, different things um, that surround kind of like 
minimalism so um if you want a different look of, of it um the more kind of like theory examples of stuff um this book can be a reference resource for you so yeah the longing for less happy readings